So, you know, patients who have uh, kidney disease and also have heart disease are, are extremely challenging group of patients. Um, and what we have seen historically is these patients tend to be undertreated. You know, many a times, uh, you know, unlike patients without kidney disease, they tend to get less diagnostic care, less intervention, more because of the fear that whatever we do are going to make their kidneys worse. So they tend to be undertreated. So I think that's a critical uh, need because we know that these patients are more likely to die from cardiovascular cause than to die from their kidneys getting worse. Yeah, I think now, uh, you know, as I was saying, there is this unmet need that they, they are really sick patients and like people are not taking on these patients. But now we have techniques, for example, uh, you know, uh, we can do uh, coronary angiogram and also PCI using very little contrast. In fact, what we generally do is we do a diagnostic cath with just using 10 to 15 cc's of contrast and many a times bring them back a couple of weeks later and do the procedure uh, entirely without using a single drop of contrast, the zero contrast PCI. We do it under all IVIS guidance. And what uh, in our experience, what we've seen is uh, the risk of them having kidney dysfunction, worsening of the kidney function is extremely low. So I think these are advanced techniques that, uh, you know, I think are more and more important if you want to optimally take care of these patients. And since you ask what is the future, you know, we are doing a large NHLBI funded trial called the Ischemia CKD trial, where we are enrolling patients with advanced kidney function, adv advanced kidney um, dysfunction. And um, we are then randomizing patients either to be medically treated or to have coronary angiogram and uh, revascularization if indicated. And we are what we are really like uh, wanting to see is, uh, you know, is either of these strategies beneficial in reducing death or MI in this really high risk group of patients? So it's an NHLBI funded trial. So uh, we have finished enrollment. We'll be finishing follow up by the end of this month and hopefully presenting the results later this year.